very good morning children chapter 7 animal world chapter 7 animal world in yesterday's video we have completed our topic habitat so after the to topic habitat now i am going to start the next topic of this chapter that is body covering so the body covering children body covering first thing is body covering it is given on page number 58 and 59 so body coverings first of all in chapter 7 animal world body coverings so it is important to discuss the definition of body covering so what is body covering animal the as the name shows body and covering these two words which have their specific which have their specific meaning and body means the animal body the animal's structure animal structure the body and covering means the cover so it means all the animals have definite body coverings and these body coverings are different in different kinds of animals these body coverings are different not same in every animal all the animals have their different different body covering so these body coverings help the animal to live and survive in their habitat so why they are important the body covering is like our cloth like our cloth as we wear the cloth to cover up our body similarly nature or god has given a natural clothing to our body to to the animal's body which cover their animal which cover the animal's body and these bo body coverings are actually for a for some purposes there are some purposes or there are some functions of these body covering so the covering the covering which help the animal to live and survive in their habitat these body covering actually help animals to live and to survive properly living to help them the these body covering help the animals to live and they can easily live and they can easily spend their whole life so they can easily survive in every kind of atmosphere so and these covering protect the animal also sometimes these body covering give protection also so body covering is just like a covering of the as covering of the book as you know that there are uh, you can see there are uh, coverings you can cover your books and copies to protect the copies and books similarly naturally bo the animal body is also covered by some special type of things which are known as body covering and these body covering perform different functions which we will learn or which we will study about one by one so here are the first function of the body covering these coverings keep the animal warm and dry by the help of body covering by the help of these body covering the animal keep their the animal keep their body warm and dry means the dryness and warmth is provided by these body covering to the animal body okay now the next is give protection you know it is very important for the animals to protect their bodies because they are not like human beings so they cannot they cannot fight they cannot protect their body by the different means so they only they only protect their bodies by the horns by the um, by the by their legs by the running fast so these kind of things so protection is also done by the by the body coverings in different different animals so this uh, body covering also protect the animal body in the from the danger now the third point by the help of these body coverings animal can hide easily from their enemies and predators so yes of course the body cover coverings also help us to pro to give protection from their predators and from their enemies hunters who can who want to kill them so these body coverings give protection 
Now the last fourth point is these coverings give protection against environmental conditions also. You know the body covering is not only giving protection from the predators or hunters but also they but also give protection from the natural climatic conditions like wind, rain, snowfall, sunlight and heat. These from these adverse condition these body covering also give protection to the animals. So on the these are the these are the function of the body covering. Now, what type of body coverings are there? So, there are five body coverings in our course. So, one by one we will study about, about them. First is feather. Second is cuticle, scales, shell, fur or wool. So, one by one we will learn about these body coverings. So, here I am starting the uh, first covering. This is cuticle. So children you know very well. Cuticle. The beetle. All the insects like beetle, ant, grasshopper. These are certain insects. where Their bodies are their outer body. Their outer body is uh, actually very hard. And this hard layer is a cuticle layer. This hard protective covering which is found outside of the body is cuticle and this cuticle protect their body from the in, from the other predators from the hunters from the uh, climatic conditions so they uh, these cuticle is the first body covering which are only found uh, in the insects as well as sometimes in the annelid in the in the softer animals like the snails or like the uh, earthworm so you can see you can see the bodies of insects like beetle ant and grasshopper are covered with hard cuticles okay so next point is scale next point is scale the outer not that scale by which you can draw a line this is not that type of scale you have i think all of you have seen a fishes yes in the fishes you can see the structure if you see the structure of fish this is the structure of fish so this kind of structure i think all of you have seen so these are scales these are scales so the outer covering like fishes reptiles uh, the outer covering of fishes and reptiles like crocodile lizard and snake they have horny hard scale on their body which prevent their body from water loss the you can see i think you all have seen crocodiles lizards and snakes the whole body are covered by the horny means like this horny like this this is the horn like structure on their outer body and this is this is the scale which protect the crocodile's body the lizard's body and snake's body from the water loss and you have seen the fishes which live inside the water they also have scales on their body and these scale actually pre make their body waterproof as you have the waterproof cover, uh, cover in a, you which you use to cover your books and copies similarly these uh, scales which are waterproof in nature are found at the outer side of the fishes so they make their body they make the fishes body waterproof so they can fishes can easily live under the water throughout their whole life so scale i think you all know the scale now move in the book bodies of reptiles and fishes are covered with scales reptiles means all the animals which crawl on the land like the lizards like the snakes like the crocodiles these have a horny hard scale on their body horny hard scale on their body to prevent the body to prevent their body from water loss and fishes also having the scales which prevent the 
entry of water in the body it means which make their body waterproof you can see the horny these are the horny scales of the crocodile and these these are the scales which make the fishes waterproof okay so after that the next part is shell the next body covering is shell many animals have outer skeleton outer skeleton means the part the skeleton which is found outside of the body we know that we all having endoskeleton the skeleton which is made by the bones and they are and these skeleton are found inside the body but outer skeleton is known as outer skeleton is also found in some animals for the protection purpose and they these outer skeleton are hard protective covering called shell this hard shell protect the soft body soft body of the animal when they feel danger like the snail like the turtle i think you all have seen snail snail have big shell like this you can i think you can see you have seen the shell of the snail so this is what this is a outer skeleton of the animal because this skeleton is found outside of the body and they protect the softer body of the animal and the, this outer shell this outer hard shell is found in the uh, snail and in the turtles or tortoise okay whenever they feel whenever the animal feel that there is a danger they immediately go inside the, their shell and they they hide their soft body inside the shell and by this by doing this they can easily prevent or protect their body from the hunters or the predators so this is all uh, for the sh about the shell and shell is very hard or too hard so the predator or hunter uh, will not eat them so they they, they can save their the, the soft animal like tortoise and the snail can easily prevent this or save their life by hiding their body into the shell now the next is feathers feathers you know feathers and birds they these two things are the identification feathers are the identification of birds these feathers are white and green and sometimes in very beautiful colors they help to they help in flying as well as they keep the these feathers keep the body of the bird warm so fair birds have feathers their whole body is covered by feathers these feathers keep them warm and help them to fly okay you all have seen i think you all have seen birds different types of birds parrot you can see i think you have seen the parrot which is green in color beautiful green and you know this green color feathers help them in the flying as well as in maintaining their body temperature now the next point, next body covering is fur or wool all the mammals mammals like sheep or bear mammals are what mammals are the animals who give birth the their babies who give birth to their babies so these fur fur like the polar bear or the bear having thick fur uh, and the wool which are found from the sheep's body they all the animals like sheep bear have fur or wool on their body which protect them from cold and rain so cold and rain this is the climatic condition and the, these adverse climatic condition actually uh, will never harm the anim mammals or animals body because of the thick fur and wool so this is all about the different types of covering different types of covering so i hope you all have understood the types of covering cuticle scale shell feathers fur and wool now the last important point of this topic body covering is camouflage so body covering of some animals like zebra tiger grasshopper 
merge with their surroundings you know the animals like tiger tiger the yellow uh, yellow color yellow white color and black stripes or stripes are present or found on their bodies similarly zebra also having the black and white stripes and grasshopper is a green color like a leafy green color so they can easily hide their body behind the green grass behind the dry grass and behind the rocks because their color of the body easily merge with the surrounding so by doing this by the help of their body color they can easily hide their body with the surrounding and they can prevent their body with the predators so it makes animal hard to spot means we cannot we cannot identify the animal and they protect them from enemies they can easily protect their body from the enemies this property is called camouflage so this is very important point camouflage animals like camleon can change their color to match the surroundings Chameleon. The chameleon is an animal, a lizard, which easily changes their body color according to the surrounding and according to their mood. So this is all about the chapter seven topic body coverings. So children, today's homework is write the definition of camouflage and do this true false. do this true false this is also your homework so thank you for watching this video stay home and stay safe